try to save even though it's pretty bad. Uh, first I'm going to try to clean off some of the major pieces of corrosion before I pour the coke in. The coke pour, typically baking soda, is probably better. Less stuff in it. But the coke is readily available. big chunks in here. I'm not sure how it happened. Well, I know how it happened. I didn't, when I put this new battery in, I didn't put terminals on it. I didn't put any corrosion pads on it. Here we are. Corrosion in your battery is caused by several things. Hydrogen leaking out of the battery, interacting with the atmosphere, um, degradation of the copper terminals, creating, I think it's copper sulfate, and that's what does it. There's several things, but you want some kind of inhibitor be present to undo some of that damage or, or prevent it. When I'm done, I'm going to have to um, just my clean this out. once or twice you want to make sure that you're getting just look you can see it fuzzing Push it down in there. See it fuzzing up around it like hydrogen peroxide? That'll let you know it's doing something. Right there. Tell you that it goes away. Put it back. See how it comes back? Let you know that acid is working. Let's see what happens. If you look, if you look right around, let me see if I can zoom in. See how it's bubbling up right around? I tell you that carbonic acid is doing its thing. Let it sit in there for a few minutes. I can't remember exactly how long I let it sit in there last time I did this. It was really bad. But um, let it sit in there for a little while and before I pull it out. And we'll see how it does. 
All right, I forgot to show me taking the uh, terminal out of the coat, but as you can see, it ate all that corrosion off. Here's what's left of the cup of coke. I've been using it to turn clean battery terminals off, and I quit, and I let it sit in the negative terminal for just a little bit, even though I didn't really need to do that. But uh, now it's time to put the battery back in. What does corrosion do? Corrosion, what was on it earlier. Go stick that, open the door of my truck and put that in the seat. The seat that you were spraying. So this is a perfect example of why corrosion inhibitor is so important. I ended up finding out uh, the next day that the battery wouldn't take a, a charge because the corrosion had seeped into one of the battery cells, destroyed the cell, and I couldn't get the battery to read over 10 and a half volts. So though the battery was under warranty, it was under a prorated warranty. So I ended up having to spend money prematurely to replace a battery that probably would have lasted another year or two. Um, but because I didn't do the corrosion inhibitor like I should have done, the battery died prematurely. I had to spend money prematurely. So it's extremely important to uh, make sure that you're doing everything you can to prevent damage. Otherwise, you end up being stupid like me and having to spend money early. So hopefully this video has been educational. Hopefully you've learned something about the Coke trick if you didn't already know it. It's good to just let the terminals um, sit in the battery. The battery terminal sit in the Coke 10, 20 minutes. Um, basically let it sit till you can see bare copper and then reattach them make sure you put some water on there to get the the coke off of there so it doesn't get sticky reattach them and then put your corrosion inhibitor on there of course making sure the the terminals are dry so dab them off with a paper towel and then once you do that uh, they're good to go and as long as you um, have done your preventative maintenance it'll save you a ton of money um, in the long run from having to spend money early um, where you've ruined a perfectly good battery like I did. So hopefully this video has been educational. Until next time, this is Nacology signing off.